Hello nieces and nieces, how are you today? Welcome back to the channel. I want to thank you guys for coming back to the channel. Yes, we're back. And today I want to share some fragrance content with you. And to be exact, the fragrance content that I want to share with you, I want to give you an updated rendition of my favorite clean girl fragrances so if you're interested in hearing about that please all right you guys so if you have not checked out the video that i did last year or you want to be refreshed this list is totally different so last year i did a clean girl fragrance and this year i'm here to update it but make sure you check out the previous video all right so we're going to start off with a fragrance that you either love it or you hate it but um, I like it because it is multi-purposed. And um, when I got it, I have to say that I really had to learn and understand how it worked for me because I do feel that it works differently for every person. And the fragrance that I am speaking about is Molecules 01 by Eccentric Molecules. And this is the original one, but they now have... Um, put out additional ones on the line that you can get it with a more enhanced note like tea, mandarin, ginger, or iris, and some other ones. But this is the original one and it has one fragrance note and it is the ISO E Supra. And that is a synthetic note that I think is designed to work with the person's DNA or their personal fair not DNA but your personal pheromones but the way that I use this fragrance this is more of an enhancer for me I have worn it in isolation and to be honest with you I can't smell it but my husband loves to smell this on me so it must just be an enhancement of my natural body or pheromones and I would consider that to be more of a you know clean vibe a clean aesthetic so again this is molecules or one from eccentric molecules all right the next fragrance is from the house of Chanel and this is the latest release I think from Chanel this is the chance or the fresh EDP and this fragrance to me this is just a year-round freshy in my opinion because it has a balance of aldehyde notes as well as a woody note of um, teak wood and those jasmine notes to me jasmine is a love for me so I can tolerate it at any time of the year but this is definitely in my opinion a freshy and a clean girl fragrance now I know many of us we want to wear the gourmands and the fall and winter months but honestly sometimes I just crave for a great freshy no matter what the temperature is outside so I think that this is one that can be worn across season so again this is Chance Eau de Fresh EDP by Chanel all right the next one is a fragrance it's like i'm waiting to wear this fragrance i want to either wear it to a wedding a baby shower um i've envisioned myself with what i'm going to have on but you have to have an appreciation and a love for musk for this particular fragrance it is definitely loads of white florals and musk in this fragrance and it is from the house of zhirzhov and this is apollonia this is absolutely beautiful, you guys. Whenever I smell this fragrance, I envision Audrey Hepburn. I don't know what it is that makes me think about her when I smell this fragrance. Now, this fragrance has mixed reviews, in my opinion. Like I say, you have to just really enjoy musk fragrance, white floral fragrance to even appreciate this because this is not like a mainstream fragrance. It is definitely different. And I do think that you have to have the correct olfactory senses to even like it, you know, but that's with anything because all fragrances are subjective. But to me, this is a beautiful white floral musky fragrance that I think is going to wear perfect for the spring and summer and it does give a clean girl vibe. So again, this is Apollonia from Jojo. The next fragrance is something that I discovered over on TikTok and it absolutely smells so good. And a friend of mine wears this and it smells so 
great on her. It actually smells better on her, in my opinion, than it does on me. But this is an Arabian fragrance that I got from Aroma Concept, and this is Kisa Blue. Ooh, this is so good. Mm, this just smells like a fresh, expensive, and, and this is not to downplay the fragrance. It just smells like you're in an expensive hotel and they have put like some kind of expensive, you know, exclusive freshener in the air. This smells like an expensive air freshener. I'm just going to be completely honest with you, but I mean, I don't mind smelling like that. This is so good. It has top notes of citrus. It has some bergamot. It has some leather. It has um, some ginger, some orange, some musk. It has powdery and woody notes. This is absolutely beautiful. And it definitely gives a clean girl, clean guy vibe. I think that this is a well-balanced unisex fragrance. And it definitely, definitely smells so good this smells good so again this is kisa blue from paris corner but you can purchase it at aroma concepts all right the next fragrance is another fragrance that makes me think of a hotel or some type of expensive spa and this is a tea fragrance you guys and in my opinion i have like another tea fragrance on here and i do think that tea fragrances although some of us may think of greenery and herbal i do think that depending on how it's blended tea can be a very clean fragrance in my opinion so this is oolong chai from nishane and i'm telling you guys i've actually been in a hotel that smells like this now, I'm not going to say that they spray oolong chai, but this gives you expensive hotel lobby vibes. This, this is so good. Oh, this is good. This fragrance has notes of bergamot. It has some mandarin. It has oolong tea, has nutmeg. It has a fig note and it has musk in it. This is absolutely beautiful. This is also, to me, a balanced unisex fragrance. So again, this is oolong chai from Nishane. Okay, the next fragrance is also a tea fragrance. And this is something that I just recently added to the collection. And this is from the House of Valentino. This is the Donna Born in Roma Green Stravaganza. And she's so fresh, so clean, so good. This has notes of tea, jasmine, and vanilla. Very basic, but very nice this is a clean girl type of vibe also this fragrance i would actually spray this on and wear it to bed although i don't wear fragrances to bed but this is one of those fragrances that is so airy and clean to me that i'm comfortable with actually putting it on and wearing it to bed so again this is green stravaganza from the donna born in roma series with valentino all right, the next fragrance is also from the house of Valentino. And this was my first Valentino. This is Valentino Donna Born Aroma Yellow Dream. And this is an absolute beautiful fragrance. It is definitely a citrus freshy fragrance. It has lemon, rose, and musk notes in it. It is absolutely beautiful. I really enjoy this fragrance. I've made it halfway through the bottle. And when I replenish this, I am thinking about getting the bigger bottle because this is one of those freshies that you don't even have to think about. If you are a person that likes citruses like myself, if you like those, and this is not that citrus, in my opinion, that goes wrong. The rose and the musk that's inside of this, it just balances it out. And it is a very safe, not think about it type of fragrance. So again, this is Donna Born in Roma, Yellow Dream from Valentino. The next fragrance is from the House of Parfums de Marley. And this is probably the most exquisite musk fragrance that I have in my collection. And this is Vallea. Wow. Ooh. This fragrance has notes of aldehyde. It has peach, bergamot, mandarin, orange blossom. It has neroli in it, lily of the valley. It has Aki wood, and it has musk. 
this is so good you guys i kind of laid off wearing this because i was wearing it quite a bit because husband likes this as well and i'm like let me just let him just use it the here and there that he use it because i would definitely repurchase this once it's needed to be repurchased but this is so good and like i said this is like an exclusive prestigious type of must fragrance it is it's a must fragrance, but to me, it's like in a league of its own. If you want to have that fresh girl, fresh guy aesthetic, but you want it to be top tier, Vallea is the way to go. So again, this is Vallea from Parfums de Marley. All right, and the next fragrance is something that I just recently added to the collection, and she is absolutely beautiful. It's amazing to me how you can take two categories and combine them. And when I described this on my Instagram story, I said that this is a clean girl fragrance with a hint of cotton candy. And to me, that is exactly what it is. This is Sundays. And this fragrance has notes of Mandarin Orange, Californian Lemon, Neroli, Jasmine Sandbox, Cotton Candy, and Musk. This is clean, girl. This is clean, pretty girl next door. This is, in my opinion, a clean, it girl type of fragrance. When I went to replenish my Mojave Ghost, I sampled this. And trust me, I was back the following week to pick this up. So again, this is Sundays by Barreto. And last but definitely not least, this is something that I just recently replenished. And this fragrance, if you've been around for a while, it was almost a signature scent for me. And you know, we don't do signature scents because I have quite a few of them. But this one is Mojave Ghost. So this is more of a woody yet clean girl type of vibe. And what I do like about Mojave Ghost and it's probably just me because I have worn this fragrance across seasons. I don't think that it's more favorable for me in any season than the other. This is a year round fragrance. And like I said, this could easily become a signature scent if you're into that clean woody aesthetic. But this is absolutely beautiful. It has musk mallow in it. It has magnolia. It has notes of violet that is done so right. And it has some ambergris and cedar, and it is beautiful. And of course, sandalwood. So again, this is Mojave Ghost by Byredo. So you guys, that concludes my clean girl fragrances for 2024. Who knows, I'll probably be back again in 2025 with an entire different list. So I wanna thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel. I greatly appreciate you and do not forget you, yes you, you are great. Bye-bye.